computers, LED monitors, projectors, and a touchscreen table, all to create a virtual patient. Go through the bones and actually peer into his head. Computer engineers and gamers, video gamers, really uh, propelled this type of technology into a possibility. Dr. Brian Butler created Plato's Cave, which stands for Computer Augmented Virtual Environment, to allow doctors to use three, four, and 5D images to see exactly what they'll encounter in the operating room before scrubbing in. What you are going to be able to do is not only see a picture, like a picture on a wall, but fly into the middle of that picture and start making measurements within the picture itself. Butler says typically a small percentage of information from a traditional CT, MRI, or PET scan is used or viewed. Processing all the images adds a whole new dimension. Well, now you could accumulate 90% of the data and have much, a much clearer and a much more focused picture. The surgeon can then use voice commands and hand gestures in the operating room to manipulate these images. Interior orientation. So the key to good surgical success is visualization. And when you have the data so that you can then visualize exactly what's going on, it definitely decreases the stress level or the anxiety level. The more prepared you are, the better surgical outcomes uh, one gets. For patients like Rick Moore, who underwent surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy for tongue cancer in 2006, Plato's Cave provides some peace of mind. I get that confidence because I can look at it and I can tell, even as a layman, that I can see what used to be there and I can see it is not there. Doctors at Houston Methodist Hospital are reimagining medical imaging. Jill Craig, Associated Press, Houston. Stop.